Hello, in this video we will discuss about the halitosis, so the bad breath, we will discuss the bad breath. Bad breath means when we will inspire the carbon dioxide during the uh, physical respiration, so the breathing will lead to also effect of smell we can feel or other person can feel. So the halitosis is an oral health problem where the main symptoms is bad smell in breath in breath so during the inspiration the carbon dioxide also mix the uh, uh, smell which that smell is due to many causes let's begin to understand the foods different type of foods poor oral health not dental checkup uh, improper cleaning of dentures uh, order causing bacteria on tongue and the periodontal disease and smoking as well as alcohol and diabetes so this alcohol is also because alcohol we when go into the uh, go into the blood it will breathe out because it is light molecule the ethanol so let's begin to understand understand the types of halitosis so the different type of halitosis we will learn one by one to understand how it, how the possibility of halitosis so the number one is nothing but the dilution halitosis dilution halitosis feel itself but not other person can feel because it is the basically is the limbic system problem that is known as the psychosis the type of psychosis is the dilution dilutional halitosis so the in this way the dopamine disorder will occur this mechanism basically the limbic system activate and the psychosis will lead to cause dilution and the dilution mechanism we will discuss shortly in this diagram to understand best for you here is the limbic system which, which that's contain a, a vta nuclei basically uh, and uh, na uh, uh, as that well as it release the dopamine our production will lead to uh, target to the na nucleus accumbens and prefrontal cortex which that is actually not any smell but disorders known as uh, halitosis on the other hand the intraoral halitosis the intra mean inside the oral mean the oral cavity so the intraoral halitosis is basically the oral bleeding a poor oral care uh, reduction of the salivary flow uh, it is known as the dry mouth so in this way here is the salivary gland which that is responsible for the production of water and other uh, fluid so the smoking can inhibit this production of the saliva so saliva contain uh, amylase water buffer buffer for use to regulate the pH not increase or not decrease and the sodium carbonate and defensin defensin is used for the protection against pathogen so in this way here you can see the infection can cause the teeth infection and the tongue infection will lead to grow the bacteria which that will produce the uh, uh, other content uh, due to the anaerobic respiration or other problem so during the sleep so here is the dan uh, uh, sorry dietary halitosis which that is responsible during the alcohol smoking coffee onion garlic and sugar sugar is indirectly but other food is directly for example coffee onion garlic and smoking alcohol but the sugar is inter indirectly why because this is the enam and enamel the hard core of the teeth so in this way here is the cavitation will occur due to the sugar when uh, 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 add so the bacterial growth will in enhance will lead to cause inflammation and in this way the teeth cavity lead to bacteria infection causes the gum inflammation will lead to produce the uh, uh, bad breath the smell is known as halitosis let's begin to understand the pathophysiological changes halitosis so the a, a lot of Patho pathological changes lead to bad breath in mouth, 
chronic disease can cause also diabetes and other symptoms other uh, problems so that is the pathophysiological we will discuss shortly so it depends on liver disease uh, to produce our production of ketones on the other hand the lungs infection when breathe out so the smell can feel and the gastrointestinal tract disease for example the different type of disease in the stomach ulceration or other problem on the other hand the microbiota development um, um, which that will also produce the and this is the stomach so incomplete closure of cardiac sphincter will lead to breathe out and acid reflux and the go into the esophagus will lead to feel the breath smell so bad breath will occur due to the uh, 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 not closing so indirect halitosis is the ketogenesis diabetic person and the starvation for example the diabetic person has uh, insulin sensitivity will decrease so insulin will not bind so the glucose will not intake so in this way the glucose uh, will also go into the liver and obesity will lead to uh, uh, lipolysis to go into the liver to produce ketones and these ketones will breathe out and this ketone will breathe out to produce the smell that smell is a fruity smell due to the ketones production from the blood and that is ketones is very light molecule can breathe out so let's here is the treatment let's treatment is the use of oral antibiotics toothbrush twice in a day via a mm, medicam or other tube paste and the quit smoking and the monthly checkup is very important for example overall wash cavitation filling enamel protect bacterial riding through a antibiotic via a daily checkup uh, sorry uh, monthly checkup so that is the halitosis the bad breath mechanism and their causes and types of halitosis and treatment i hope you make sense about this video this video is totally depend on the halitosis as a bad breath so thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and share and you can also check other videos for understanding more medical uh, lectures and tutorial i am making the handwritten tutorial so thanks for watching bye